Hey, what's up everybody? We are back and it is the first part of the year. Happy New Year, everybody. I know it's been slow the last few weeks, but it's been rather crazy around here. A lot of the ponds and things have been frozen over. And today, I thought, you know what? We're gonna go back to one of my favorite fishing holes. I tend to do okay here, but today we're gonna do something completely different. We are not gonna be targeting bass. We're not gonna be targeting crappie. We're not gonna be targeting bluegill. Today, because of what I'm gonna use for bait and the way that I'm gonna be fishing, we are gonna target straight up catfish. So you ready to roll? Let's do this. All right, first of all, what we're gonna do different this time is we're gonna use some salmon. And the reason I'm gonna do this, guys, is simple. Salmon is a lot more oily than a lot of the other baits, and it tends to leach out into the water and get that smell kind of everywhere. So this should attract something, especially something as ugly as a catfish. First of all, we're gonna start out with, I'm just gonna throw on some gloves here. Not because it's freezing cold today, but these, I've got a whole bunch of pairs of these and they tend to grip everything really well. And on top of that, they will help to uh, keep the smell on my gloves and not on my hands. So when I go back to work later, I don't smell like uh, salmon. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and bait up a couple of these hooks. But the first thing we're gonna do is this, guys. We're gonna cut this up. We'll leave the skin on, you see that? You guys see that? It's nice and oily. I'm gonna leave that skin on. And I'm just gonna make this into some strips. And I just sharpened my knife, so it should be nice and sharp. There's three good sized strips. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw one of these on each of those hooks. I may even cut them again We'll see, I just want them to be able to kind of bleed out into that, into that water and get that smell kind of moving around. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop these up just a little bit more, get them beat up a little bit, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, bait our hooks with these guys. Just so wanna drop down here, make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. So we'll just grab one here. I know I haven't, uh, I haven't went through the time and the uh, effort to uh, change the hooks or anything. These are still set up for when I was out trout fishing not too long ago. But catfish do not care. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna roll that hook through there. I'm just gonna let that just droop down. As long as that hook is exposed, we should be okay. And don't worry about the bobbers, I'll take those off. And let's go to another one here. Got another one. This one's got a couple hooks on it. So what we'll do here is we will do the same thing. But well, this time we're gonna poke through that skin. So look at that. Check this out. We'll poke through that skin. There we go. Ugh, yuck. And by poking through that skin, uh, we should cause it <laughs> to tear up and be garbage, I guess. But it should, there we go it should cause it to stay on that hook for quite a while longer. Now we're gonna go ahead and bait up that other hook on that same line. Bait up this other hook. This one will do a little different. We'll just roll it through this way. So you guys will just let that hook, let that just stick out, let that, let that salmon to sort of droop down there and just be as nasty and gross as possible. So again, catfish are bottom dwellers and all they're looking for is a cheap, quick, fast, and easy meal. I'm gonna bait up this last one here. Again, no need to change the hooks or do anything extra special here because catfish, again, are not the pickiest fish that you will find. So we're gonna go ahead and bait this guy up next. And it's just not cooperating with me. So go through the soft part, I guess. Either that or need to get some sharper hooks. Probably. I got some bigger ones in there, too. All right. We're going to go ahead and do this and see how this works. This one, this is a pretty shallow pond, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this one out just as is. And I'll put a couple sinkers on the other ones, and we'll go from there. There we go. Right on the other side of that stupid log. So that's not too fun. But we'll let that one go and get it out there. 
I'll see if I can get these other ones in a little bit better spot. So let's see what happens here. Bing. Okay, let's bring it back in. You know, you can't really see where that went, but you will hear shortly. Maybe on one of my other, maybe on my chest camera, you can see it a little better. Let that one sit. And then this last guy, shoo, what a mess. Got a little excited here. I'll edit this part out so it won't be so unfun to watch. All right. So this now just a hair different spot. There we go. I'll let that one sit right over there. See, they're all kind of in the same area. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take just a minute and let those things kind of have a minute to bobble around out there. After all, they are bobbers, right? Let those sit. And um, I think I'll answer a couple questions. I've had a couple subscribers ask a few things about me and and kind of what's going on here. And so to answer a few questions, one is this, do I have any other interests? Yeah, I'm actually, uh, I got a lot going on in my life. I'm uh, the pastor of a church and I've got a wife and two daughters. My daughters are in their early 20s. And um, sorry, I just thought I saw a bobber go down, but I guess not. Got a little excited there. My daughters are in their early 20s. They both love fishing. And the other thing is uh, my passion is I work out all the time. I've recently lost 50 pounds and I have another channel that's gonna be starting very soon called 50 Year Old Bodybuilder. I know I wear stuff like this all the time, but I've actually worked out for lots of years and not had a whole lot of success until I really changed my diet up and my cardio and things like that. And like I said, I dumped about 50 pounds. I finally got a six pack. I finally look halfway decent. So I'm considering maybe, maybe if I have time and if I can figure it out, doing maybe a, a 50 and over uh, bodybuilding contest, maybe later in uh, the summer this year, 2020, maybe in the fall, we'll see what happens. So there's just a couple of things that I've got going on that I'm interested in. So back to the fishing, here we go. Okay, okay guys. All right, I got something here, got something. And I think we are on, oh, it's pulling, it's pulling. <laughs> All right, check this out. Oh, let's see if we can get her up. Oh, come on now. Come on now, get up here, get up here, get up here. He doesn't want to come out of that ice. Come on out of that ice, come on. Oh, there we go, okay. Whoa, that's a big sucker. Ugh, get back here. Big old ugly catfish. All right. Tell you what, we're gonna go see if we can get another one. Ugh. Ugh, come on. Get up out of there. Oh, God. Oh, man, this thing must be five pounds. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Another monster. Look at these things. Holy cow. Let me bring this up so you can see it. Oh, another one, man. That's two. Well, folks, to quote my friend Charlie from Charlie Break Stuff, you know what happens now. We're going to go ahead and fillet these out. I'm not too worried about them. I've already gutted them, saved you all the gross stuff. You don't have to see any of that, but I've already done that part. So <clears throat> all we're going to do is a really rough fillet job. We're not going to do anything crazy. We're just going to fillet it and skin it. And hopefully, get this done quickly because it's cold out here again nothing crazy just a simple simple fillet job so for those of you watching at home and you're a little squeamish I apologize ahead of time but we're gonna go ahead and go along the backbone as always cold in this water out here you know right over that rib cage we're not even gonna mess with the ribs today but look at all that meat 
Anyway, I'll save you this part. And I'll catch up with you when we get a little bit further along. You see that? But get right on that skin. Hold on to it with your finger. Let your knife do the work. Just come on through it, just like so. Done. Another big, fat, juicy filet. Once I get it cleaned up, it'll look a lot better, too. It doesn't bore you to death. go just like that and a big fillet oh. come back through here to the back side and because I'm not messing with it too much today because it's so cold that one will go right back in the water. Another trick, watch this. You take a little piece here, cut it off. I like to eat that, but what are you gonna do? And then put a little hole in the skin, like so. And that little hole, see that hole right there? Watch. Gives you something to, well, if it was a little, a little bit bigger, that hole right there gives you something to hold on to. Little trick. Dad taught me that one years ago. Oop, still so slippery. And through. And what we'll do, we'll do our best to <laughs> at least start to clean up these fillets a little bit. Now they're a little, not the best. And when it's freezing in the middle of winter and your hands are cold, you do what you can do. So anybody out there that can do it better, and I'm sure there's a lot of you, because I can do it better, just uh, hold your tongue. Just trying to make a quick snack here. So here's what we'll do, guys. First thing we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and season this up. I think we'll do a little salt and pepper. So we'll start with this. We'll start with some cracked pepper. Some cracked black pepper, I should say. Nice and fresh, it's good. And we'll do the same thing with our salt. Come on now. Oh well. Guess it doesn't want to do. There we go. Big chunks of salt. See that? Let that marinate in that flesh for just a couple of minutes. Yep. Now what we're gonna do is we take these babies and turn them over. We're gonna do the same thing on this side with our big coarse pieces. I think this time we'll make them a little smaller. Go with our black pepper. And now I've got some breading that I'm going to try. One of my subscribers told me I was doing a really poor job with the breading, and I tend to agree. So what we're going to do is, after we get these salted, peppered, let that set for a minute. Here's what we'll do. Put our salt and our pepper back in the container. 
and we'll try something a little better for our fillets this time. Heck, I might even throw in that little salmon. We'll see. Uh, let's move. Let's keep moving here. Mm. Okay, nix that what I just told you. Sorry, guys. Nix that what I just told you about that seasoning because it's actually in a box in my office. So we're just going to fry these up as is. I'm going to get out my $18 Walmart uh, stove and frying pan, and we're just going to fry these up as is. All right, let's check it out. All right, guys. You know what's going on now. Here she comes. I haven't had her out in a couple weeks. But it's time to get frying. We're gonna engage our fuel. And we have flame. We have flame. And on the flame, we will put our skillet. Now what we're gonna do, guys, we are gonna go ahead and drop some oil in here and we're gonna get it hot at least I hope we're gonna get it hot as long as everything works out right we'll get her hot I know it's not too even Ugh. it's not uh, the best spot to put this thing but it's the only spot that I had so here we go take a look at my flame here make sure we're in good shape and we are Yep, she's a cooking and heating up. So we should get to this here in just a second. Well, oh, she's starting to get close. See how she's bubbling a little bit? Let's see where she's at. You know what I'm gonna do? While that's doing that, I'm gonna season up the salmon. How about that? Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm gonna give this a try. I got a little tiny piece of salmon left. Gonna drop some salt and some pepper. <laughs> Leave that skin on because skin's fatty and good. Oh, it tastes so good. Man, that, that. I'm just gonna leave it right there. Okay, we'll put our salt and pepper away. Tell you what, that hot oil is hot. So, let's drop in some nuggets of catfish and see what happens here. All right, woo! Baby, that is hot. She's a bubbling. Up from the ground come a bubbling crude. Catfish, that is. Look at that. Check it out, folks. She is a frying. Let that go for a minute. Okay, I ran up to the car. <clears throat> Grabbed a couple of things. Just gonna check, see how these are doing. Looking good. Looking real good. The thicker ones are gonna take a few minutes. Oh yeah, coming along. Can't wait to try it. It's looking good. I can't help myself, but sometimes I have to steal a piece before it's done. I might have to do that. Nope, not quite ready. Otherwise it would flake off like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. When it starts to flake off and turn that nice white, that's when you know it's, well, either ready or real close. Man, that's fresh. Just had to take a little taste. So we'll let this batch continue to cook. And while that's on there cooking, I'll continue with what I was telling you earlier. So anyway, I'll be 51 this year, and I'm in my 50th year, I lost 50 pounds. 
and I went from, I guess it was right around 242 to about 192, 197, which may sound like a lot to some of you, but, um, well, let's put it this way, when the weather changes, um, I won't have as much on, you'll see that, the, you know, that number isn't a big deal. It looks pretty good. So, anyway, really considering joining some sort of a, either a league or some type of a competition for 50 and over, sometimes it's called the Masters category, for amateur bodybuilding, because um, I've worked really hard. I've worked really hard for a long time, so I'm excited to see how that works. Again, that channel hopefully will be up in the next few weeks, um, and I'll, I'll put a link to it uh, in the description in my videos as we go forward once it's up, and it's gonna be called 50-Year-Old Bodybuilder. I know there's other ones out there with the same name, but there's lots of channels with the same name. This one's called It's Fishy. Why? Because every time I go to a lake or a stream or the ocean, or a pond or anything, I always look at it and go, I wonder if it's fishy, which is not something I made up. I got it from a guy uh, on a YouTube channel called Fisherman's Life. And every time he went somewhere, he goes, I wonder if it's fishy or it looks fishy to me. And the implication is there must be fish there. And I just picked it up and I started saying it all the time. And I thought that's the greatest thing ever. So um, that's not really my invention. I, I got it from another guy at a different channel. And again, his channel is called Fisherman's Life. And I'll put a link in the description of uh, the video below. His name is Mats. He's a fantastic ocean fisherman. Love him. Love his video. So anyway, I'll uh, put that on there for you to check out. Anyway, back to this. Hopefully you should be done here real quick. Because I am hungry and fish is on the menu. I feel like uh, in that movie Finding Nemo where that big uh, shark goes, we're having fish tonight. I just gotta steal just a little tiny bite before we do our official taste test. Just to see if it passed muster. <laughs> oh, that is incredibly good. But again, we'll do our official taste test here in just a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this off. All right, folks, while that salmon is fishing up, finishing up, I'm gonna flip it one last time, get that skin more caramelized. While that's finishing up, we're gonna go ahead and do some taste tests here. I've got, uh, got this flaky, beautiful chunks of uh, catfish. Check this out, guys, if you can see it. That looks good. Tastes good. I know that. But let's give it a whirl. See how she tastes. Hmm. Oh, very flaky. You know what? This is great. I really, really like just salt and pepper and saute. Just a little bit of oil or butter, salt and pepper. This is so good. It's fresh. Again, just caught this not too long ago. In the, in the last uh, hour I've been here, last half hour, this is so fresh. It's uh, clean, like I always say, flaky. It's good for you. Man, you got to try this. You've got to. I, again, I always say I wish I could give you this bite. This time, I don't wish I could give you this bite because I want it for myself. It's really good. But this stuff is excellent. And I would recommend, I would recommend this to anybody. If you like whitefish, I know catfish, for some people, they don't like the way it tastes. The same people that don't really like tilapia, but it's good. Put some salt and pepper, put some butter, maybe some onion or some garlic. It's so good. Anyway, folks, here's what we're going to do. I promised you we'd also try this little piece of salmon. So I'm just going to break a little piece off here. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Man, look at that. Look at that. Can you see it? Steamy, perfect, hot. <laughs> that mm, is a game fish. This is not an official salmon taste test. I'm gonna do a video on that as well. I actually, as much as I love salmon, I like the catfish. I like whitefish a lot. Anyway, guys, the salmon is good. The catfish is good. 
I'm gonna go ahead and eat another couple chunks of this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this up, take it home to my daughters, see if they like it. I'm sure they will. And I will catch you next time. Have a great beginning to your new year. See you later. Love this.